So would our country be better off if we put combat vets in Congress? After risking their lives to defend our freedom in Iraq and Afghanistan, our next three guests, they wanted to keep serving. So they're all running for Congress in 2012. Joining me now, Lieutenant Colonel Steve Labate, Army Reserve Military Police Officer running in New York's 2nd District, Justin Bernier, who served in Afghanistan as a Navy Intel Officer and is running in Connecticut's 5th District, and Ilario Pantano, Marine Corps veteran of Desert Storm, who re-enlisted after 9-11 and is running in North Carolina's 7th District. Good morning to all three of you, gentlemen. Morning, morning. It's an honor. So Steve let me start with you. I know that you have five-year-old children. Right, twin five-year-olds, Michael and Maria. And you thought that this was your call to duty. You've done the call to duty before for your country. This right. is like serving your country in a different way? Uh, without question. Uh, I felt like I brought a lot to the table. My military service um, brought with it, besides a sense of duty and obligation, also my family gave me that sense of obligation. I mean, it, it, it may sound corny, but the reality is that I couldn't look at my twin five-year-olds in the eye and feel like a few years later that I, I didn't do my part to try to bring this country back on the right track. Mm -hmm. Elario, uh, people maybe not, don't know your history, I mean twice in the military, but you were also charged with murder, by the way. That's right, and it was after watching the towers fall here in New York that I went back into the Marine Corps a second time. I fought in Fallujah, I was charged, I was exonerated and became a deputy sheriff in North Carolina, which is where my children were born, which is where I live and where I'm running for Congress. And I'll tell you, just as Stephen was saying, when you've got children, you feel not only responsibility for your community and your country, but for the future of this nation. Mm -hmm. Justin, you're in my state where I live now of Connecticut. That's right. You're actually in an unusual situation because it's an open seat in your race? It's an open seat, so it's the Republicans' best chance of getting a seat in Connecticut. Right now it's controlled by Democrats, but that hasn't always been the case. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you all three believe that your time in the military will do to make you a better member of Congress? Steve? The same way it's helped me become a better father, all right, uh, the reality is it brings a lot of common sense all right, to the table, number one. My wife was actually just when my kids just started kindergarten, and uh, she was saying just the other day how incredibly expensive things are. And, and when you bring that common sense, that citizen legislator kind of mentality, it can only help. Now, the military, the fact that I'm a lieutenant colonel, bring a, lot of, a tremendous amount of organizational skills, mm -hmm. discipline. A and if there's one talent I've, I've always had, and I feel really good about it, is I've always been able to surround myself by great people. Mm. Uh, and I was a good commander, but I always made that point to do that. Watch out if you make it to Congress then, because a lot of people, <laughs> last time I checked, the approval rating for Congress was 13%. Right. So, Elario, what would make you different? I think the word is sacrifice. I think that, uh, you know, John 15, 13 tells us that there's no greater love than to give your life for your brother. And I think that every man and woman that puts a uniform on puts his hand in the air at some point and says, send me, whatever the consequences will be. And it's about time we send people like that to the Congress, because there are too many career politicians mm -hmm. that are not thinking about the welfare of the country. Instead, they're thinking about the re-electoral process. We need to have people that are concerned about sacrificing for the good of the nation, not themselves. And Justin, why would you want to do it knowing that so many people don't have a high approval rating of the well, people who and serve? That, that's right. And I think if we had more veterans in Congress, we would have a better situation because we know how to work together. Uh, veterans know how to put their personal differences aside. Uh, they know how to fight for the common good. I think we need more of that in Congress today. If you had more veterans in Congress, I think uh, you'd have a, a smoother a more bipartisan situation than you have today. All right. Well, it's such an Lord. interesting discussion, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck as you, you continue Thank on your you. races. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on Fox & Friends. It was my honor. Thank you.